Stephen Del Duca walking into the party headquarters in Vaughn Woodbridge. If you look at the bottom of your screen, you can see what happened to the Liberals so far tonight. Right. Uh, it looks like they might not even get official party status once again. Uh, they're not going to have that. And uh, Del Duca, at least he's going to speak, so we wonder what he's going to say. Let's, let's listen in. Well, thank you so very much for that incredible welcome into this room. It is really wonderful for me to see all of you, uh, so many in this room that I know have worked so hard uh, through so many weeks, so many months, in some cases, friends and supporters who have worked side by side with me, with my family for many, many years. I want to thank Ontarians. You think about this for a moment, we are so very fortunate in Canada to have such a thriving and healthy democracy where every single vote counts. And whether this was your first election or your 40th, thank you for doing your civic duty. I also want to thank all of the candidates in every riding. You know, I've said this many times before, putting one's name on a ballot is not an easy decision. And going door to door, attending debates and events and working to explain your views Explain your vision to the people of Ontario is also very, very hard. And every single bit of it takes courage. I want to thank all of the candidates who stood for office in this election. To Andrea Horvath, to Mike Schreiner, and to Doug Ford, I want to say thank you for stepping up and leading your parties. Thank you for making the sacrifices that come with traveling the province, well, for weeks at a time, months at a time, and for enduring the scrutiny that comes with leadership. It's not always easy, and we often don't agree, but I respect each of you for stepping up as leaders. And I want to say thank you and, and congratulations to our Ontario Liberal team, to the women and men all over this province who chose to stand up and who chose to fought so hard. I am incredibly, incredibly proud of each and every one of you. Yes, all of our candidates, every single candidate. Our Ontario our Ontario Liberal Party, our Ontario Liberal family, has come so very far so fast, and during a pandemic, no less. You think about this for just a moment. We had a diverse and inclusive roster of candidates, with, for the first time ever in our party's history, 50% of our candidates being female. Absolutely, absolutely. And so many of our candidates, so many of them determined because as being younger candidates, so determined to help shape Ontario's future. Now, to be clear, this isn't the outcome that we had hoped for and worked hard for. And yes, it's true, I am disappointed to not have been successful here in my home community, my home riding of Vaughan Woodbridge. But I am very, very proud, very proud of all of our MPPs, both those caucus members who will be returning to the legislature and our newly elected MPPs. I'm proud, proud of the innovative ideas that we as a team brought forward. Proud of every one of you who fundraised, knocked on doors, made those phone calls, put up signs, and today got out the vote. I want to thank our riding association presidents. I know many of you have heard me say this before. Many years ago, before I first became an MPP, I had the chance to serve as a riding association president. I had the chance to serve as a campus club president and to serve on multiple riding executives. And so, to the women and men who make up the rank and file, if I can put it that way, of our party, yes, our PLA presidents, including my own, Christina Sindrick. Thank you so much, Christina. <laughs> to 
to our riding association presidents and executives, to our Ontario Young Liberals, to our Ontario Women's Liberal Commission, and to Brian Johns, our party president, and the entire Ontario Liberal Party Executive Council, thank you. Thank you. And I just want to say again, I have no doubt that the women and men that Ontario Liberals have elected to the legislature will do their part, in fact, will do more than their part, to help grow a new and energetic progressive movement here in Ontario. It will, however, be a movement that will be led by a new leader. Earlier this evening, I informed our party president of my decision to step down from the leadership of our party, and I have asked him to meet with the executive to set a leadership contest for as soon as is reasonable. I am again so very proud of the work that we did. And here is something else that I know. Watching how we've grown, watching how we've grown stronger, watching how we've worked so hard to build this party over the last couple of years, I know that we as a political family and we as a political movement will be starting the next campaign from a much better place. In addition to the new MPPs that we've added, we've attracted, think about this, we've attracted tens of thousands of new volunteers and party members to take up the fight. And we anticipate that the party will be debt free by the end of this year, by the end of this year. But more importantly, I know that Ontario Liberals will use our new, stronger platform to continue to propose thoughtful, innovative, progressive ideas to make our province a place to grow. Today, today the voters of our province have spoken, and they've delivered a majority government to the Conservatives. I want to congratulate Premier Ford, and I hope he leads our province well. Now, I say that, and I mean that sincerely, because above all else, I'm a dad. I'm a dad to Talia and Grace, who are sitting right here. And I want my daughters to grow up in a province, an incredible opportunity, an incredible Ontario, that offers them even more opportunity than I had growing up here. I trust, I trust that the incredible responsibility of leading this great province will weigh heavily on Mr. Ford. I know that it would, would for me, because after all, it is a big deal. It's a big deal to be entrusted with the hopes and dreams of millions of people. And as a party, I know that we will redouble our efforts to earn your trust, because we don't care where you came from, how long you've been here, who you're connected to, or how much money you have, or what your station in life is. We care that you feel respected. We care that you feel included. We care that you feel seen. And we'll look right past the neighborhood that you live in, rich or poor, rural or urban, north or south, to make sure that you get your chance to succeed. That's what Ontario Liberals believe in. That's the Ontario that we will always fight for. And you, know, and you know that we will do this, because what's important to us is pretty simple. We want the best for you, the best education, the best health care, the best quality of life, all supported by the best jobs and the strongest economy, and we won't ever stop working to make that happen. Now, the last thing that I want to say as I wrap up is that there are a lot of people, and I can see so many of you as I stand here at this podium, and I know I know that you in this room represent thousands of others right across Ontario. Now, the women and men who never stand at a podium and never see their names in the paper, but I and every single one of our candidates, well, we stand on your shoulders. But there are three names that are most important to me of all. Utilia, Talia, and Grace, my wife and our daughters. <laughs> you should see the look on their faces right now. <laughs> My wife and our two daughters, who I love so, so much, who've inspired me, 
who've motivated me and supported me every single step of the way. And I can confirm that we've already agreed that we'll be at Wonderland this Sunday, right guys? <laughs> Now, now they're the reason, they're the reason that I do this. They're the reason that I do everything. They're the reason that I've always been able to do what I've tried hard to do. Now there's some other people that I want to thank as well. They're not in the room right now, but they are, they are upstairs. And those are my parents, Margaret and Benny. Yes, please. My mom and dad, I've said this so, so many times. They literally moved heaven and earth for me, and for my sister Lorraine, and for my brothers Mark and Michael. They did everything for us, sacrificed, so dedicated, so hardworking. They still are. I want to say, Mom, Dad, I love you so much, and I am so grateful for everything that you've always done for me. Thank you. And I also want to thank a number, a number of the people who've worked so hard. I'm looking out at an audience of people who I know have been knocking on doors here in Vaughan Woodbridge, led by Andrew Donahue, our local campaign manager. Andrew, thank you so much. And, and honestly, if I start naming all of the names of people who've worked hard over the past four weeks, and in some cases like Rocco Grassi over the past 30 years with me, that's Rocco Grassi, by the way, Rocco Grassi. But I want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for being with me every step of the way. You know, this has been an incredible journey for me in this party, in this political family that I love so much. And as I said earlier in my remarks this evening, I know that we will go forward. I know that we will never stop working. I know that we will continue to grow and to be a force for good, a force for positive change here in Ontario. It is what Ontario Liberals do. It is what we do well. It is what we should continue to do, and again, I know we will. And I just want to say, having had the chance over the past couple of years to serve as your leader has been the honour of my lifetime. I want to thank you. I want to thank all Ontario Liberal Party members for giving me this chance, for working alongside me, and for making sure that we always put our best foot forward. So. Thank you for this. Thank you for your incredible work. Thank you for always being there for me and for each other. And I look forward to doing whatever I can to continue to support our party and build an Ontario that is always a place to grow. Thank you so very much. Really appreciate it. All right, Stephen Del Duke is speaking at his party headquarters, and he tells his supporters that he's stepping down. They don't get official party status. He does not win his riding. The Liberals have to now do the work to choose a new leader. Evan, this is jaw-dropping, two party leaders stepping down on the same night. Doug Ford takes out Andrea Horvath, uh, now Stephen Del Duca. That was very short. He really did not manage to do anything that he promised, which was build back the party. We've got one more seat. Uh, not official party status. The Liberals are deep, deep in the wilderness now.